Hey, what do you think of the first line in my book? No, oh, yeah, no, it's good. It, it could be a wee bit more dramatic. More dramatic. Okay. More. 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 So at the end of last year, I did a video on some great endings in fantasy books. And quick side note, Murphy did a video, so if you're looking for more videos with great endings, check that out. But I thought it being a brand new year, first month of the year, why don't we do a video on the first lines in fantasy books? Not chapter one, not the prologues, just the opening line of books. It's not make it or break it for me, but I do love when I pick up a new book and I read a first, just that opening line, I go, oh! This is going to be good. So I spent the last hour going through my shelves, reading a bunch of opening lines. And then I also put up a poll on my Instagram page. I often crowdsource additional books to talk about on here. I have a bunch of books. And we're going to talk about books. First on the list, we have The Kingdom of Liars by Nick Martell. And the opening line is, "As my trial for treason for killing the king. I played with my father's ring, twisting it around my middle finger. I just like that one. I think it really throws you into the middle of the scene. You're in a courtroom, being tried for treason. It raises loads of questions. Why did he have treason, make treason, do a treason <laughs> against the king? Next up, we have The Poppy War and by R.F. Kuang. And the opening line is, Oh yeah, I remember why I chose this one. Take your clothes off. I was just going through them. I've not actually read The Poppy War yet, but I thought that was really funny. So I'm sure it's like, I know it's quite a dark book, so it's probably not funny once you get into it. But I just thought that was a funny opening line. So that's the opening line to The Poppy War. Sticking on the RF Kuang bandwagon, we have the first line in Babel, which is... By the time Professor Richard Lovell found his way through Canton's narrow alleys to the faded address in his diary, the boy was the only one in the house left alive. Again, Babel I have not read, but that's an intriguing first sentence. I really want to read on. I've heard mainly good things about this, so I do want to get to it pretty soon. Fourth on the list, and we're already kind of cheating. It, which is technically a horror book, but I'm not gonna add that in the title because it's just one book that's horror. But the first sentence in Stephen King's It is The terror which would not end for another 28 years, if it ever did end, began, so far as I know or can tell, with a boat made from a sheet of newspaper floating down a gutter swollen with rain. I really like that one because it really immediately captures the scope of the story. The fact that this is going over 28 years and even then, we don't even know if it's completely ended. So I have read this one and that first line definitely lives up to the the epicness that is It by Stephen King, which is a chunky, chunky book. I still highly recommend. Next up we have Nivernight by Jay Kristoff. This was also one that was sent to me on Instagram. Cause it is, it's a pretty good first line, opening line. People often themselves when they die. Perfectly captures the tone of the book. I think, um, in fact, wait there. The special Lit Joy editions of the Nevernight Chronicles actually has Jay Kristoff annotating his thoughts for each part of the book and he says something about that first line. And it's about it being wanting to get across what type of book it is as early on as possible. So. <laughs> People know it's going to be dark and messed up before they get into it. Let's see, what did he say? Oh, here we go. This whole first page is basically a warning to anyone who walked in expecting Illuminae, which is his other YA series. And Nevernight is definitely not a YA series. 
Next up we have Sons of Darkness. An Indian grimdark fantasy. The first line is absolutely brutal. Uh, I've not read it yet, but I can already tell. It's going to be a pretty dark book. The stench of split flesh from the carcasses of the Children of Light wafted out to mock his hunger. This is one I want to get to very soon as well. It sounds so good. Dark, messed up, but that's what we're here for. Next up we have a classic, The Hobbit. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. It's iconic at this stage. You hear that line and you can picture the Howard Shore music in the background. It's just such a good opening. Ash fell from the sky. The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I remember when I first picked this up and it was just such a visceral image having ash falling from the sky. And this really was my turning point into adult fantasy. So it's become, it will forever be one of my favorites of all time. Another user submitted on Instagram was the first Wheel of Time book. The palace still shook occasionally as the earth rumbled in memory, groaned as if it would deny what had happened. That is the opening prologue dragon mount. And they all start with another line that I really enjoy, which is, the Wheel of Time turns and ages come and pass leaving memories that become legend. Another one that was submitted on Instagram, The Pariah by Anthony Ryan. Before killing a man, I always found it calming to regard the trees. <laughs> it's a bizarre opening line. I don't know if I should find it funny or kind of messed up. Maybe a mix of both. Next up we have Justice of Kings by Richard Swan, which Sequel's coming out next month, The Tyranny of Faith. It is a strange thing to think that the end of the Empire of the Wolf and all the death and devastation that came with it traced its long roots back to the tiny and insignificant village of Rill. That's such a good opening line. You get scope, you get intrigue of it. Why is it coming from this small insignificant village? Solid first line. Now on Instagram, I did start my post by saying one of my favorites of all time was the prologue for Way of Kings. Seth, son, son, Valano, truthless of sin, Shinovar. Seth, son, son, Valano, truthless of Shinovar, wore white on the day he was to kill a king. That's the thing about opening lines. It's cool to get set the tone, show scope of story, do all these fun things, but it needs to have cool factor. It needs to have, ooh, I like the sound of that. And that's really what you want to do to grab your reader. You want something that just latches on, hooks into them, and needs to be cool. Them's the rules. Okay, I think this is my last physical book before we go into Instagram and ebook stuff. The First Binding by R. R. Verdi. I walked into the tavern in search of the most important thing in the world, a story. I know what you're thinking, that's technically two sentences, but even just the first sentence by itself is cool. I'll include the a uh, story just so you can understand where it's going. Oh, this is a good one. Fangs of War by A. G. Doble. On a silent shore in a distant land, the world was coming to an end. That's just a cool opening line. See, that has cool factor. Another book called The Nine Princes in Amber. I've not actually heard of this book. It seems to be a, a older sci-fi book. So let me know if you've read that. I'd like to, is it worth checking out? It was starting to end after what seemed most of eternity to me. That is also a cool opening line. A lot of these have the end of the world in, the, <laughs> in their opening line. Another classic that got submitted more than once was Stephen King's The Gung... Gungslinger? Gong. The man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. So good. Moving on to a sci-fi book, Neuromancer by William Gibson. The sky above the port was the color of television tuned to a dead channel. You certainly know you're reading a dystopian with an opening line like that. 
What's two plus two? Let's open the line to Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Another one that's bizarre, but has cool factor because it is so bizarre. Another sci-fi, one called Inverted World. I had reached the age of 650 miles. Another super popular one, Red Rising. I would have lived in peace, but my enemies brought me war. That's a great opening line. I've not read Red Rising yet, but that's a great opening line. Far out in the uncharted backwaters of the unfashionable end of the western spiral arm of the galaxy lies a small, unregarded, yellow sun. Certainly don't have Stephen Fry's voice, but that is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Moving into a classic era, we have 1984 by George Orwell. It was a bright day in April and the clocks were striking 13. I like an opening line that has a bit of intrigue, a bit of, but something a bit different that just makes you go, hmm. I forgot about this, this is one of my favourites. It's uh, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. It is important when killing a nun to ensure that you bring an army of sufficient size. I think that's a great opening line. I really like that. And last but not least, we have The Crew. Before the killing began, Varsade wanted to enjoy a glass of iced milk sweetened with honey. I also wanted to note that The Crew is self-published and it's pretty new and it has one of my favourite taglines as well, which is Kings of the Wild meets Deadpool. Apparently it's really funny and brutal. Uh, that is it, I've been filming for, good lord, almost 40 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut this down somehow. So what is your favorite opening line in a fantasy or sci-fi book? And if you're like me and can't actually remember any of them, which one was your favorite from this video? <laughs> I'm amazed that people can remember quotes and stuff from books. I, I struggle to remember character names after I finished a book. So that'll be it, thank you for watching and goodbye.